Hey, welcome back everybody. Today we're here to talk about The Walking Dead Season 10 Episode 3. We're going to be looking at two sneak peeks from the episode and breaking it down. One sneak peek was from The Walking Dead's YouTube channel and it's the group getting ready for the Whisper War. So it looks like this episode is definitely going to be starting off with the Whisper War. I'm very excited about it. And then the other sneak peek was from The Talking Dead, which I absolutely loved. It was Carol's Hallucinations of Henry. Before I begin talking about the sneak peeks, spoiler warning if you aren't caught up with the show and if you are a fan of the show, be sure to subscribe to be kept up to date with all new information we get for The Walking Dead, you know, breakdowns, reviews, all that kind of stuff. So be sure to subscribe. Uh, but with all that being said, let's get into the sneak peek all right so the sneak peek opens up with the characters pretty much everybody that's living in alexandria they're in, they're at the courtroom or you know the meeting room whatever you want to call it they're all there and they're discussing options of what to do with the whispers and michonne is pretty much giving a speech saying that you know we're on edge it's gonna get worse before it gets better but we will not get through it if we do not act as one. So we can definitely see Michonne is going to be taking a leadership role here this season, which is definitely interesting as we know she's going to be leaving later on in this season. And I think, you know, leading up to The Walking Dead Season 10, they were saying that this season will focus a lot on Michonne's legacy. And I think we're going to start seeing that this episode. I'm still kind of debating how is she going to leave because part of me thinks she's going to find out that Rick's alive. The other part of me thinks that she's going to do something heroic and it'll be a little bit similar like Rick. But that would, I feel like that would also be a little bit repetitive. So that's why I'm kind of leaning more towards the fact that maybe she gets some sort of indication that Rick is alive. And then, you know, she doesn't go find Rick right away, but she helps her community fight the Whispers. I think that would also say a lot about her and would leave a good, you know, legacy behind that she stayed back and helped her people, even though she knew about Rick and this other community. I think that would say a lot because, you know, you don't even have to be, in, you know, included in the Whisper War. You can just like sneak out the back door and leave. But, you know, that would not you wouldn't you know necessarily be a good person if you do that, you know, just leaving everybody behind. So. I think that's going to be, you know, also part of it. But you guys let me know in the comments down below. How do you see it playing out and how do you see Michonne's exit playing out? And then after that, they start laying out the idea of what to do during the attack. Because it does look like the Whisperer's Alpha is sending that horde of walkers because they're pretty much splitting up and dealing with the walkers. Like she says, Gabriel will take point and guard the gate from the northern wave. I think she's referring to the wave of walkers. Now... I'm kind of curious to see how they're going to find out about these waves because we know they're coming. Uh, but we also know Gamma is also going to come and warn them about Alpha and to meet up at the border. So maybe Gamma could kind of just say that walkers are coming towards your way. But on top of that, they also did already see like the entire horde of walkers. So I'm sure that they're going to be prepared for it anyways. But we do know that a horde is coming because after this scene... Um, Michonne says that Aaron will take the southern wave and in the trailer there was a shot of Aaron on the ground like covered in blood and look at all the walkers behind him so this obviously is like the aftermath of the um, attack and I'm excited for this episode you got whispers you got walkers attacking you know you got a horde of walkers a group fighting against a horde of walkers this all this you know on paper could make for a really good episode so I'm excited for it and then this scene cuts to Aaron getting ready for the battle and you can see him taking off this arm and putting on this a spike which is awesome i'm i'm so happy with what they're doing with aaron this season i mean not only that it's only been like an episode that we've seen aaron in but just like that first episode where he's taking action and doing things that he hasn't been doing you know give and they're giving him a proper you know a good storyline i'm excited for it and i've always liked aaron like he's always been a likable character but he's also just been like in the back he's like he's been there doing his thing nothing too crazy uh, but I'm excited from this season because like Aaron said himself, you know, he's not playing nice anymore So I can't wait to see what exactly they do with his character this season I have seen some people say that they were kind of worried for Aaron and they think Aaron might die um, I've also kind of been thinking about that But you know, you know how the walking dead works, you know characters get eager and they really want to go to war um, Or they want to fight somebody or something like that um, when there's a lot of focus on a character, for example, we know they're they're in trouble. That happens a lot. So hopefully those don't happen to Aaron. But you know, especially with the Malkin Dead losing a lot of good characters, 
I just hope they don't lose the Aaron because I do like him. And then Michelle says that leaves us and the border. Uh, so this group, the main group, it looks like they're going to the border like we saw in the trailer. And that's also another thing that's happening this episode, the whole border thing, which looks to be like that could possibly be like the first battle of the Whisper War. So, um, you know, all this is very exciting. So it looks like they're splitting up. You know, Gamma came and told them about what's happening. They're going to the border to meet Alpha, and two groups are going to deal with the walkers. And then Carol says something interesting. She says, we're really going in there. Uh, Carol and Dara both say something interesting. So Carol says that we're really going in there, you know, not armed. And Daryl says, we have no choice. So I don't know why he's saying we don't have, any, we don't have a choice, because... Like, I don't know what's going on here that they can't take guns. Like, we know the Whisperers are going to be taking a bunch of guns. But they're probably going to explain it in the episode. Obviously, this is just like a sneak peek. But that is interesting how they are going without guns. Uh, but Carol isn't. Uh, because immediately after this, uh, we see Carol going into her bedroom and pulling a gun underneath her bed. This definitely reminds me of, like, Season 5. You know, when they first came to Alexandria, Rick and Carol, they were sneaking guns. Um, I don't know if we're going to actually see that happen. Uh, but the fact that her gun was hidden underneath her bed and it was taped, that kind of makes me think or it kind of raises the question for me like, are they banning guns in Alexandria or something because they don't want, there's a lot of people there, a lot of kids, uh, because she really has this hidden, you know, it's like taped above her bed, so that's interesting to me, so we'll see if that, you know, that gets answered in this episode. And then at the end of the sneak peek, Carol takes out these pills and takes some, which is interesting to me because the next sneak peek, which was on the Talking Dead, Carol's hallucinating Henry, and that could be the reason why. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and talk about that sneak peek right now. Now this next sneak peek is freaking creepy is all I gotta say. And this, this is gonna be such an awesome sequence because this is like straight horror. Like this isn't even Walking Dead horror, this is like real horror. Which is like, this is my view like what some of the scariest stuff we've seen on The Walking Dead before. So, I'm excited for it. Alright, so the sneak peek is Carol in this abandoned building. Um, and she walks up to this broken door, or this door with broken glass, and she goes, uh, looks through it, you know, with the flashlight, and look what she sees in the corner of the room. This is true horror right here. I'm so happy the walking that is back to being scary, but this is like a walker there. I, I think it's a walker. It looks like a walker, you know, like in a fetal position almost, but like sitting up. Like, it's super creepy, but you get what I'm saying. And then after that, Carol kind of backs out of there. She's like, nope, I'm not dealing with that. Um, and she turns around and leaves. But it, before she leaves, we hear Henry's voice and he says, mom. And then that's where the sneak peek ended off. Um, and that was a good sneak peek. It really was. You know, you can see why they would release that on Talking Dead. Because a lot of people watch the Talking Dead immediately after The Walking Dead. Or even if you're flipping through the channels and you come across that. Like, and if you like horror, you're gonna like that. So, again, you know, I'm just glad The Walking Dead is back to being scary. Like, we saw in, you know, even episode two, you know, that was some uh, scary stuff also. So, I think, you know, th I think they know what fans want and what fans have been asking for. And the title of the episode is Ghosts, so that's referring to the Carol stuff. So, I'm curious to see, like, how much is this gonna be in the episode? Like, how big of a part will this be having on the episode? And she is alone here in this scene. So that's why I'm kind of curious, like, what's going to make her... Because this looks to be, like, some sort of abandoned building. Um, or, yeah, I mean, she's by herself. This building is totally abandoned. So I'm kind of I'm, I'm kind of curious to see, like, what's going to... Because in the other sneak peek, we saw them all heading towards the, you know, Whisper border. Or at least that's where they were going. So I'm, I'm kind of curious to see what is going to go wrong or what's going to happen that's going to make her go in this abandoned building. It could be the voices. Remember, that could also be it. Like, I could definitely see a situation where she's like, fall, like she hears Henry calling her mom, uh, maybe from a distance. Uh, like, maybe the building is somewhere far away and she hears it and she starts following it. That could definitely be happening. Um, and that would lead her to, you know, wherever it is um, going on in this sneak peek. So, a lot of big Carol stuff happening in this episode. You know, both these sneak peeks uh, were Carol heavy. And I want to talk a little bit again about the whole gun thing because that's interesting to me. We saw that the other survivors didn't want to take guns with them to the Whisper Board. They just wanted to go and talk, and Carol took a gun there. So, I think, and in that trailer we got for episode 3 we had that final shot of all the whispers raising their guns so I think maybe no they don't really want to fight maybe they're just actually there to talk I don't know why uh, I don't know why Alpha would want to talk though because 
they alpha knows they crossed the border so maybe you know i mean i wouldn't be surprised is what i'm saying that if the whispers start, start firing at them but now looking at it or in looking at this sneak peek i feel like maybe carol pulls out her gun and all the other whispers kind of pull out their guns because in that you know trailer it definitely looks like they they saw something that caught their attention they kind of stood up and raised the weapon so that could be like carol on the other side pointing her gun at like alpha or something so it looks like we're getting a lot of big carol stuff in this episode so i'm very excited about it i am gonna wrap it up there for this video though because that is the two sneak peeks we got uh let me know in the comments down below all your thoughts and opinions about it you know your thoughts theories about carol and aaron and you know the whisper war let me know in the comments down below i am gonna wrap it up there like i said so hopefully you guys did enjoy if you did be sure to leave a like rating and for more walking that videos be sure to subscribe thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later